welcome back CNC lathe I'm sure many of you are as eager as I am to get this thing up and running make it do something um, so we're gonna start on that journey tonight how far we get is another thing um, but the first thing I want to do is get the stepper motors wired up now fortunately when I got this the conversion had been done essentially so it's got ball screws it's got stepper mounts um, some stepper motors were supplied um, the issue is that the control electronics supplied are very old um, and I can't find any documentation for them uh, I could spend time trying to make them work and I'm sure I could figure it out eventually but I don't want to spend time doing that so I'm going to use at least to begin with the control board from the little CNC lathe that I made before now this is a gerbil board, which is a you know a very sort of entry level CNC controller, and it comes with these little stepper motor drivers on them, which are fine for little motors like these. But when you get to slightly larger ones like this, you need a, a bigger driver. So what I've got to do, um, apart from connecting the stepper motor into here, is to connect this into here. Um, so I'm going to make some little adapters for the, these are just in sockets, so I can make some adapters and uh, hopefully we might make it move. So these stepper drivers need um, an enable signal, a direction signal and a pulse. Um, so from this table you can see that you can choose anything from 400 to 25,000 pulses per revolution for the motor. That value has to be set um, on the microcontroller when you connect to it from the computer. So I just need to connect those three signals into here. Now examining these little stepper drivers, we've got direction, step, and enable and over here we've got ground which we'll need to connect as well so I'm gonna make up a little connector this is a an eight-way connector same number of ways as the stepper board so I can plug that one in there and I'll just have a single for the ground I'll wire that up and um, get it into here and then we'll wire the motor in. So two cables made up, uh, the ground goes in there and the other bit goes in there. I've only got black and red at the moment so all the wires are the same so I can mark them up. So this one is on its own so we'll do that then we'll just put a single mark on there and two on there and then just follow them to the other end. This is number two is number one. So I've got the control signals wired in, um, grounds just looped across. I found that I've got a spare stepper motor that's wired in and I've got a 24 volt supply wired in. Let's plug this into the PC and see if we can make this move. So I've wired the dribble controller into the stepper motor driver. Uh, stepper motors there and if I drive it from here spins right I just need to wire up another one of these um, and we'll take it over to the lathe and see what happens right so sometime later I've got the control board wired into the two stepper boards the two stepper boards are connected into the Z and the X motors um, we've got a piece of material and a uh, flexible tool just uh, just to be sure now this is the little program that I ran on the um, little lathe made with the CNC 3018 let's just hit the go button so for some reason it retracts first 
then moves in, starts taking passes. As you can see, it kind of works. Took a little bit of fiddling around with motor phasing and so on to get everything to go in the right direction. Um, and with the stepper drivers to make sure that the computer was moving it the right amount. Of, so when I said move 10 millimeters, it was actually moving 10 millimeters and not 20 or five. I have got the VFD set up with the motor. Although I haven't yet made the cowl to protect the motor because I don't really want bits of swarf going in the back there. But um, it does work. That's the two diameters. That was a bit scary close to the chuck. A few millimetres to spare. But um, yeah, it works. Oh well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it functionally works. Uh, there's still a lot to do. Um, I need to wire up the limit switches. Uh, I need to wire in the BFD so that the control board can control it, control the speed. Obviously all the bits need mounting nicely somewhere. So that's all to come. So I think that's it for now. Uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.